This event is the reason why I love dancing with this company so much and being a part of the entire JMBT organization. People come together, families, individuals, groups of people with interests around dance, people who are concerned about social justice issues, people who love music, and just people who are looking to get out on the weekend and do something fun. Well, I think it's just pretty amazing what comes together in this community. It's such diverse dance and just brings everyone together. It exposes people to different cultures, different communities, uh, allows them to share their own views of the world and their own perspectives and experiences. You feel like there's air, there's a different way to dance, so I like dancing outside on an outside stage. It makes things different. Oh, it's so wonderful to see people from so many different places in the world and so many different influences. It's really inspiring because uh, we do uh, traditional oriental dance, but we also do fusion dance, um, and we love getting ideas. <laughs> dance for World Community is a unique initiative. How do we make dance inclusive? How do we look out and beyond ourselves? We've done some research and there isn't anything else like it. He wants everybody to understand dance, so like how everybody understands like football or baseball. He wants to make it popular. Dance is specific to certain people, but I feel like he wants to include more people so that they get on board with it and support it more. If we talk about climate change, if we talk about education, health, justice, teenage pregnancy, drug addiction, all of these different issues that we all really are dealing with in our cities and beyond, we have to think of new ways that all of the players can be brought together so we can find solutions. Dance has a much greater potential to contribute to that than most people realize. I work with people with disabilities. The power of the arts is just really has transformed so many people that I've worked with. So I love seeing the combination of community service and community justice organizations with the arts and with dance. It's, it's just fabulous. So when we're talking about dancing for world community, we really want to emphasize that when we're talking about the world community, it's everybody in the world community, no matter what level of ability they come in with and what impairments they have, dance is accessible for everyone. I definitely think dance can change the world. I used to do dance and I always loved it because um, it really brings people together. When people watch dance, when they learn how to dance, it really creates a community. Dance is a very primal human expression, a way to connect to other people. It's a way people join together in dance. It's a way people share joy and hope and sadness and pain. It's all about the timing, you know? So even you dancing, you have to count one, two, three, four. Cooking too, you have to count one, two, three, four. Everything's about the timing. You work from your heart. Now, to kick off the festivities today on stage two, I'm pleased to introduce Boston Dance Company. It's all about the connections between people and finding unity in our differences, finding our commonality in our diversity. And we're not going to create a perfect world tomorrow, there's no question about it. It's just that we're holding this incredible potential to contribute to some of that positive conversation that can be encouraged through dance. So let's make that contribution. <laughs>